So here we are at the uh, library of Chateaubriand, uh, reviewing both uh, ancient and uh, extraordinarily new history for Domaine Clarence Dillon, uh, and specifically about uh, our new venture, Chateau Quintus. This bottle here of Chateau Quintus uh, represents the first vintage of the wine that we produced in saint emilion Here I have a book uh, dating back to 1874, the Coxe Ferré, the Bible of Bordeaux wines. You can see that both of these estates that we acquired and that now make up Quintus were considered to be uh, among the uh, top ten estates of saint emilion and were both considered the first growths of saint emilion We called it Quintus. This was the Latin name that was given by Romans uh, to their fifth child. We wanted to give a very strong message uh, to wine lovers around the world, to the market, uh, to Bordeaux, saying this is a new start for us. We are uh, aiming to make one of the very finest wines uh, in Bordeaux from this estate. We also wanted to have a visible emblem for this estate. The dragon appealed to me because uh, it is known not only for its wisdom and its far-sightedness, but it's also known for a creature uh, that is a guardian of uh, a great hidden treasure. And that is exactly what I believed that we had discovered here in saint Emilion. We wanted to breathe life into the project by uh, literally seeing our new mascot come to life. An artist uh, by the name of uh, Mark Corinth, who is known for his work on African animals and animals all, all around the world. He was more than enthusiastic to take on uh, this challenge and then the work started proper and i'd like you to see a little bit about the uh, story of the making of the dragon uh, thanks uh, to the extraordinary collaboration and talent of uh, mr mark corinth cheers Armature, the main sort of skeletal structure within it, that took two or three weeks building it up and just making it stronger and stronger and stronger. Every bit of wire one puts on is a, is a pencil line in 3D. Making a, a plaster shell around it and beginning to do the sculpting. Sculpting can be a whole series of beautiful accidents. The form and the character of the beast is so often those little lines that either appear from one's fingers or from one's tools, but it's those lovely, lovely little accidents. We had it, I had it finished and then I called the foundry. They said they'd be along on Thursday. And I think it was about 10 days worth of moulding. And then they just took the moulds away. And that felt a bit destructive. So many different sort of Chinesey dragons and Welsh dragons and dragon dragons and big dragons and small dragons and nasty dragons and nice dragons. Is it landing? Is it about to take off? And so all these things we just played with. So what I decided to do was to just put all those dragons in my little balloon, shake my head a bit and see what came out. But this is where the dragon was cast. A wonderful, ancient, ancient process that is as old as the gods um, and developed in all parts of the world in an extraordinary way. But it hadn't fundamentally changed ever.
if you could explain a little bit what has already been accomplished with the, well, yes. the infrastructure of this. The, the, just when we go back to the thinking of written clay, um, all these little bobbly bits, when we think that they made that mold in my studio back at home, um, which is the negative, then they made a wax copy of it. So everything we see here, all these little nooks in the bronze have come out directly from the wax, or from, from the clay, so the, the mold and the wax. You can see here where the sort of scars are, and scars down the nose, where the joins are. Um, when you next see it, you won't ever know where these lines were. Um, so there's a huge amount of work yet to be done. Because we talked about this being maybe altogether about uh, two tons uh, of yeah. uh, steel, bronze, um, and how, how it's structured, because you're talking about the aerodynamics also, the wings and the importance of that, yes. withstanding hurricane winds. We, hopefully we won't have hurricanes yeah. in uh, saint Emilion, <laughs> but uh, I There's guess wind, on the journey there also. You won't have many if you yeah. do. Um, the, the stainless steel structure, in fact, you can see it down there on the base. That is, that stainless steel there is, runs ultimately through the complete body of the dragon. Um, coming out, you can see it at the moment, coming out through the wings, um, the wing roots, um, right up to the wing tips and down to the end of the wings. And so all this um, is a structure that is, is going to, is, is engineered um, to withstand the, and anything that can be thrown at it. Um, the, the bronze on the outside is really going to be a, a thin skin that will completely hide the, the stainless steel structure. But it's, it's technically very difficult. But I think I'm chuffed to bits with the job they've done. This wing has gone quite a long way through the process of being constructed. What we're now doing is putting the covers over the stainless steel fingers um, and so blending that in with what is the bronze skin here. Um, and this is wax. Lost wax process, it'll be cast into bronze. Once it's cast into bronze, it'll braze onto the, onto the skins. The green things here are what are called runners and risers. It is where, ultimately, the wax will burn out and bronze will pour in. Black wax will burn away, bronze will take its place. These will then be bronze runners and risers. Those we'll have to sort of cut off from the bit that we want. So it's quite a process, but it works. I've just got to make this disguise so that, so that the body and the wings will seem as one. The, the wax will then be taken off the, the dragon as it is now um, and cast, cast separately.
Dejte všechny si k sobě a jde. To je dobře, to je dobře. Merci d'être avec nous tous pour ce, ce moment et merci Marc pour euh, la réussite de ce, ce projet faramineux. Okay, Maybe you can say a few words, uh, Marc, also. I would just say, for me, <coughs> the finish of this project, providing the, the guardian of Quintus, has just been an enormous honor and pleasure. And the only sadness I have it's at least here now, it has it's the project. <laughs> the project is going on. Yeah. Because it's very proud.